So, okay, I got another video that I'm going to do a reaction to. And this is sort of a shout out to some of the fans. I started getting these comments from people about Upchurch. And I'm not familiar with Upchurch. You know, I'm, I don't really fuck with country music or anything. He's a YouTube creator and he also puts out country albums. And, and I, I guess he does pretty well. He's got a lot of subscribers. Uh, his fans clearly love the fuck out of him because they, they came to me. Like here, check out some of these comments I got. My boy James Gerard comments, hey dude, do another piece on Nicole Arbor. She's doing the same thing she did to Tommy, to Ryan Upchurch. Even worse this time, this woman is nuts. E Eclipist? 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 Eclipsed? I don't fucking know what you're trying to, what your name is, but you said Nicole's trying to sue Upchurch again and still owes him money from last time she sued him and lost. How the fuck is that legal? Next, my girl Heidi Danielle says, Kill Rock Radio, she just announced that she's taking up church back to court a second time. The first time she claimed he drugged her. And also, Robert Cox comes up in here saying, Nicole Arbor is a low-life piece of shit. She's taking Ryan Upchurch back to court, claiming he stole her music. Really, she sucks at it. Upchurch music has chart-topping hits. What does she have? Three songs that suck? Go back to Canada, skank. <laughs> so clearly, Ryan Upchurch, he must be good at what he does because his fans fucking love him. Uh, I, my fans fucking threaten to kill me and beat the fuck out of me. Nicole Arbor has been around a long time. Um, and she is quite litigious. Uh, I looked a little bit into the Upchurch thing. So this kind of leads into the, the reaction that, that I'm about to do. So she claims that she was in the studio with Upchurch and that I guess she wrote some shit and she gave it to him and they had recorded it and uh, that basically she owns, she should own points on some of his tracks uh, off his last album. And of course, Upchurch is like, what the fuck? Apparently, when they broke up, she sued him for various things and tried to vilify him in the press that he was the most evil motherfucker in the world. And now this new thing is that uh, that she owns his album, I guess. And now she's put out some music of her own to let motherfuckers know, listen, I'm not just some uh, fly by night floozy. I've got talents. But Nicole Arbor, for people who haven't really looked into her, it's like the like comedy for the dumbest, most basic of bitches. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying bitches like calling all women bitches. I'm saying like the term basic bitch, which we all know. Nicole Arbor would be their mascot. She is the most basic. She's she's the comedians would refer to her as a hack. You know, a hack refers to a comedian that is like super unoriginal and they just tell very easy sort of jokes that dumb motherfuckers laugh at. And I'm not one of these people who thinks that there are no funny women, but I will say that there are a hell of a lot of unfunny women who think they're funny. And the thing is, they really believe it. I don't question why she keeps trying. I mean, look, her videos get hundreds of thousands of hits. I assume she's making decent money out of it, even though I did hear Ryan Upchurch say that she's broke. Like he, he ended up winning some settlement against her and she still hasn't paid him. And so now she's trying to sue him again. Anyways, it seems like this is sort of her MO. She's quite litigious. So I don't want to say too much. Um, so yeah, I'm not saying she had any sort of plastic surgery. A lot of us just get smoother as we get older. Um, uh, I'm not going to say that she's paying for views for her new music videos, but it's kind of weird that they all have pretty much the same number of views. Uh, that happens, you know, when you buy views. All her other videos have like 106,000, 250, three, you know, it ranges between that 100 and 350, and then you'll have a, a pop here and there. But every one of her music videos has right around a million views. And uh, I'm not saying that she would be the type to ever pay for views. I mean, is that the type of thing that a fame whore would do? Oh, no. But if you were to do that, it would probably look a little bit like this. Like, okay, I just did a, a reaction for the new Megadeth video. The Megadeth video has 1.2 million views. 
and Megadeth's a big fucking deal. They can sell out stadiums. Nicole Arbor has just as many views, and I guarantee you, she couldn't half sell out a fucking tiny room in any major city. She couldn't sell it out for music. She couldn't sell it out for comedy. The only way anyone finds out who the fuck she is is if they're trying to jack off to her or if, you know, they see one of these videos making fun of her, which are plentiful. And I guess you could throw this one on the heap, you know? That's my PSA. Guys, listen, I know you're hurting. I know you're trying to get that nut off. But <laughs> when a chick says, it doesn't matter how hot she is. If she says something that's fucking unfunny, no sale, no fucking sale. Do not fucking sell that shit. Let it be what it is. Otherwise, like, let's say you, you get her as your girlfriend. You're going to have to live with this fucking insufferable bullshit. So anyways, I say all that to say this, since she's apparently such a great musician that she can contribute music to, to Ryan Upchurch's album. She's got her own shit out. I'm wondering how that is. I'm going to listen to her newest jam. It just came out a couple weeks ago. It's already got a million hits. So very similar to the other songs. It's Nicole Arbor, hands up. Will she surprise me? I'm going to keep an open mind. I, look, this motherfucker has to be good at something. Eventually we'll find it. So let's see what this shit's all about. Edgy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good lord. Holy shit. See, once again, don't lie to women. You're hurting them. She looks like a fucking idiot, dude, and she has no clue. The fact that she made these videos, I haven't watched the other two, but from what I've seen so far, I mean, there's obviously somebody shot it. There's other dancers. Money was spent. And she, like, like, this is awful. This looks like something that like a, like a 18 year old kid has her dad pay for it, Like a, like a real dickhead, 18 year old kid. Who's never been told. No, I, she has no voice for, for rapping. She's fucking rapping. So she has no voice for it. It already, like, I don't understand what the fuck she said at all. Um, she is bringing some cheerleader gimmick. Apparently she used to be a cheerleader uh, for one of these Canadian basketball teams. So God damn, man, we're 27 seconds in. I, I, I wish I would just spontaneously fucking combust right now. Oof. Here we go. Fucking shit. You know, what the fuck? Looks like a fucked up zombie. So now we're going into some Toronto Raptors bullshit. Oh. oh. Like, I don't even know what to fucking say about this. Normally I can, like, I'm trying to get into it and shit. And uh, I, really, this is a peek into psychosis. This is such garbage. I almost don't have anything to say to it. I, I'm, I'm feeling bad for her because this woman has been lied to. This woman has been misled to believe that she has any talent whatsoever. Um, man, I am only, I'm not even halfway into this motherfucker. Oh, keep it going. 
You don't want to end up on the story that I'm uh. posting. Don't be acting foolish and you won't get roasted. Part so hard. Ooh, roasted. Get toasted. Roasted. Good pop shit. Gonna get you diz. He's an on on the road like we in the whiz. You think oh. that I'm the man the way I handle biz. You looking at royalty. Queen Liz. Queen Liz. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands. Put your hands up. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, what the I'm fuck a, is this? It tells me what to do. Oh my god. What the fuck? I wish I was fucking dead, dude. Put your hands up. All my girls making money. Put your hands up. All my bitches making money. Oh my god. You just called yourself bitches. Put your hands up. All my girls making money. Yeah, you know how I feel when you grill. I am real. Got a grill. Got a grill. All my bitches making money. Yeah, you know how I feel when you. I almost don't want to stop it because it's just more time I have to deal with this. Um, I am dumbfounded at this fucking thing. This is, this is like, if somebody said, what does a, a fucking narcissistic personality disorder look like? I'd say, oh, here, let me introduce you to the stylings of Nicole Arbor, who would have you believe that she is fucking, she's a rapper. She's a comedian. She's an actress. She's all these things. And she's so good at it. She's so fucking talented. Girl, I got some fucking news for you. Oof. The main talents you have are all that ass shaking. Whoa. Okay. Keep it going. Oh my God. God, no. Don't come back. Just get out of here. Oh, you guys. That happens to her a lot. <laughs> Oof. How much more is there? Shit. Listen, dude. Okay tap i tap dude i can't watch this there's bro there's like a minute left this is fucking torturous i can't even you motherfuckers who who uh who sent me messages like oh fucking you do a piece on nicole arbor i blame you motherfuckers ryan up church me we got beef you fucking because your fans made me watch this motherfucker i've seen one of her her uh her little bits and then I've seen one little bit of her stand-up comedy. And then whatever little clips are in the, the Upchurch thing, because I checked that out. Um, this is the worst thing she's ever done. I, I haven't seen the other two songs. I can't imagine they're worse than this. If they are, holy fucking shit. Wait, instead of sending missiles to Ukraine, we send them a fucking MP3 of this song and some big-ass speakers. And they blast that shit at Russia. They're going to run. They won't be raping, they won't be castrating, their dicks will go limp and they will run for the fucking border and we'll all party. This song could bring about world peace because anyone would do anything to get the fuck away from this. I can't even fucking stand this. I'm sorry I curse so much. This is the most awful thing I may have ever seen in terms of a music video. This is like, I don't see how everybody made fun of Friday by Rebecca Black and they didn't make fun of this. Only difference is Rebecca Black was a teenager. She was having a lot of smoke blown up her ass and her parents wouldn't tell her no and they put her in this situation to make this awful video and it damn near fucked her life up. Nicole Arbor, I don't know how fucking old she is, but based on the first time I ever heard of her, she's got to be like middle-aged, uh, like well into her 30s probably. And so it's like, what, like, what are you doing? What is the excuse for this? I tried. I really tried. I cannot finish this video. Uh, anybody wants to tell me what happens at the end? Uh, please, because this was, this was hell on earth. And, um, that's it. Listen, Nicole Arbor, you certainly have a right to do these things. I, I, if everyone got paid, then that's cool. Cause everybody, you know, can put this, I guess, would you put this on your resume? If you're one of these guys in the back, you're like, Oh, I'm in a video. Yeah. Don't pay attention to the girl with the pickle. I'm hot dude. Number two.
Um, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, you know what? The good thing is, though, I've already forgotten the whole fucking thing. The song is so uh, forgettable and shitty that uh, really all I'm left with here is this picture of Nicole Arbor with the pickle in her hand. Yeah, man. If there's any moral to take out of this, once again, I know this is the third time I've said it, but I cannot say it enough. Do not lie to women when they think they're funny and they're not. Listen, you're doing a woman a favor if when she's not funny, you tell her she's not funny. Because then maybe she'll get better. Listen, don't just do it to people on the street. Because whatever, who cares? Everyone can do their own thing. But I'm saying when you're putting yourself out there I, and saying, I'm a comedian, I'm a musician, I'm this, I'm that, then you are open to criticism. You have put yourself out there for critique. And my critique is fucking six thumbs down, fucking floppy dicks, uh, everything that could point down, 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 down. Uh, this is work of Satan. And holy shit. Holy shit, people. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Whoa.